Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Wednesday, August 17th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are somebody that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. First, a couple of clarifications. Number one, this price you see there will be changing along the candlestick over here. That is because the market is still open for a small amount of time, but I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement live here on video. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each of these as they're called candlesticks represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, BBBY, Looking like back in the good old days when all those short squeezes were going on today, no doubt about it, another short squeeze, huge move up. But now there's uh, you know a, a little bit of iffiness out there. And the reason being that earlier on in the day, a beautiful, beautiful bull pennant was formed, but you can see right there, it ultimately failed and failed in a very nasty way. Now, let me be very clear. Does that mean that the party's over and that it's game over? Absolutely not. I'm not saying that, but what I am suggesting is a little bit of skept, you know, be a little skeptical here moving forward because uh, you just never know when, you know, a, a violent breakdown of such a bullish pattern occurs. Now, this is crazy, you know, this is crazy stock, crazy environment. So I also would not be shocked to see the price all of a sudden just recover right back to where it was. However, like I said, I'm just saying the chart does not look nearly as good as what it was when it was forming those nice bullish patterns and then getting the breakouts to the upside. Case in point, right here. You can see right there. Nice bull pennant, and then got the, a very nice breakout through there. There was no nasty failure to the downside. So again, to be clear, is the party over? I'm not saying that. Should a little bit more skepticism maybe be brought to the party? Yeah, I think that would be a wise move uh, to do. As far as levels to watch moving forward, in terms of levels of resistance, keep an eye on that level line there. I realize the price is relatively far away from it, uh, but if the price does recover back upwards, then I could see that uh, playing in another significant role. As far as levels of support are concerned, Keep an eye down here right around $16.50. But yeah, right now, overall, look a little sketchy, but we'll see what the next uh, couple days have to offer. Next, F-U-B-O and overall, big movement today, but late day, you can see this section of the chart here, quite a bit of a pullback during the, the latter part of the day. Now, the nice thing about this pullback is that when you look at the volume, the volume has been decreasing through the pullback. And as any volume analysis, you know, textbook or whatever will tell you, Decreasing volume during pullbacks is an ideal situation. It doesn't guarantee anything, but it is much better than having the price going down and then seeing you know just massive volume. So did get a low volume pullback here, but overall you still got to give credit where credit's due. F overall trend still very bullish here. You can see a lot of upwards pressure here. So this is really just a, a question of how do you feel about the pullback and you know what's the idea behind a watch list. Well, the idea of the philosophy is to find unique, to find interesting situations and not just randomly rush out and buy stuff, but to watch it, see how it behaves. And if it does ultimately behave in a way that fits your, your strategy, your personal risk tolerance, well, then at that point, you can take action with it. So if you are somebody that likes to see stocks that so, uh, show great momentum and then have a bit of a pullback, then this would be a situation that I'd say keep an eye on because you can have no doubt about it. Great momentum. Now you have a pullback. Now it's just a question of does the price return back upwards? So keep an eye on that if you like these sorts of scenarios. Next one, AMC, and this is a little unique because usually I don't go out this far to draw patterns, but I mean, this is just a, a truly a, a great looking pattern. So I've had that level of resistance in there, but the level that I wanna get added in here is this support trend line right there. Now, maybe you don't agree exactly how I drew the trend line and, and that's fine, draw it however you want, but the, there's no denying the fact that the price has been uptrending over that period of time. But like I said, looking at the past couple of weeks here, looking at that resist, uh, let's, let's try that again, see if I can get it. There we go. Looking at that resistance, looking at that support, just making it the same color to try to bring in a little bit more, uh, you know, easy to see the uh, pattern here. Let's put the golf hole down here for you golfers. A big picture bull pennant pattern. So you gotta think that a lot of people have noticed this pattern and a lot of people are watching, especially this level up here, the top part of the pattern. And once again, going back to the whole philosophy of a watch list, just watching and wondering, you know, if the price can get up to the top of that pattern, can the price actually break through it? And if it does, no guarantees, but is it plausible? Is it rational to think that that break could create good solid upwards buying pressure? Absolutely. And the top part of that pattern, uh, again, the bull pennant, right up there around the $27 mark. Now, if you like to play more so pullbacks, then yeah, you have this trend line right here that, you know, generally speaking, has a good history of providing support. 
whenever whenever the price has gotten down around that area so you could also keep in mind you know plan the pattern where you get a bounce off you know the the bottom so that's another way you can approach it but again that just goes back to your personal strategy your personal risk tolerance but no doubt about it very nice very clean bigger picture bull pennant pattern here on amc next one g b o x and a rough last 30 minutes here, um, really the last an hour. So that 30 minute session, you can see there was a breakout. Things were looking great. And then price came back down. And then you can see the final 30 minutes here as I speak uh, is just getting that much more continuation. So that doesn't mean that the entire chart is destroyed. But, uh, you know, like BBY introduces a bit of skepticism, but worth at least putting in the resistance trend line right there because that'll be a key level. And then I also want to put in another level down here. Change that to green to represent the support part of the pattern. And then let's make it all one color for easier to see. So we have our resistance, we have our support, we have the big momentum move right there, and this would be known as a bull flag pattern. So bull flag pattern, so if you like to play bull flags, if you like to play stocks that are down below the $5 mark, then I definitely keep an eye on this one. Next one, AMTD, and I like this one because it's looking like this pullback may be over and after a big surge today and that pullback right there, price did start to go sideways. Now, let me be very clear. And I wish I could say trading was this, was this easy. Just because the price started to go sideways does not mean that for sure guaranteed this is the bottom and that the, the thing's going to head back up. But is it at least rational? Is it at least plausible to think that, okay, because the price has started to go sideways, that maybe, just maybe, that could be some sort of bottom? Yeah, that is by no means some sort of random thought process to have. There's some logic that goes behind it. So with that being said, the sideways action is also where the level of support comes into play. That support being right here at $2.60. So keep an eye on that moving forward as that uh, potential bottoming point right there. And then if you're looking for more confirmation in terms of a reversal, then right there at the 295 mark seems to be a, a logical level to keep an eye on. You can see that the price has been up around there a couple different times and both times, including the last 30 minutes here, the price was rejected from that area. So again, guarantee no, but is it plausible to think that if the price can get up to that level and then you get a break up through it, that that break could create some good solid upwards buying pressure. Yeah, I think that's a, a very rational thought process to have. So keep an eye on these couple levels here for AMTD. Real quick, wanted to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online training that I'm offering here relatively soon. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency as a trader and why it's just such a powerful tool that we as traders can use, then definitely get signed up for the free training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage you can click to get signed up. So if you, like I said, been enjoying what you've seen, then certainly get signed up for the free training. Next one, ticker symbol NU. Nice pattern here. I like a lot of these, a bit of a late day pullback here, but when you consider more than just one day and more than just an afternoon, you can see that very clearly a whole lot of upwards pressure here is behind this one. So let's map out the pattern right now. So the key level to watch moving forward is gonna be that area right up there at, uh, let's see, $5 and we'll call it about 87 cents. Then we have this area of support down here around 540, give or take. So again, let's change this to green to represent that support. And you know what I'm gonna draw here. Hopefully you're saying, yeah, Clay, we get it. You're gonna be drawing a bull flag. Very well done. So we have our resistance, we have our support. We have the big momentum move right there. So yeah, bull flag pattern here on this one. And like I said, this goes back to the, the question of, okay, yeah, got a lot of upwards movement, but how do you feel about this pullback? If you feel this pullback is just healthy and you know this is just, uh, you know, just a little pause, a little breath before this upwards trend continues, then you're looking at a very potential nice opportunity here to, to buy in on this pullback right there. Obviously, if you think that this is the beginning of the end, then you're either going to want to look to get short or you're just going to want to avoid it totally. But the point here being is that this is a, a good, solid, interesting situation. You have big pressure. Now you have a bit of a pullback here. So we'll see how it continues to play out over the next couple of days. Next, ARTL. And once again, have ourselves a pattern here, a lot of patterns out there, which is never a bad thing. I mean, when you have well-defined patterns, you can always get those self-fulfilling prophecy type attributes of things. So I'm going to just keep us moving here and not waste your time. And by just repeating myself over and over again, because you've heard me say this stuff before, but we have our resistance. We have our support. We have the nice momentum move right there. We have a golf hole down here. So not a bull flag in this situation, but a bull pennant pattern. So if you like to play bull pennants, you like to play stocks down below $10, keep an eye on this one. But the one very interesting dynamic here is volume has really fallen off a cliff, which again is not terrible because from a volume analysis standpoint, you do want to see volume drop down during pullbacks and consolidation. And yeah, this 
low volume here is certainly corresponding with just some sideways consolidation. So very, very interesting dynamic in that one. And we'll see if that really means anything or not. But yeah, no doubt about it. Got the bull pennant pattern, have a very low volume consolidation. Uh, and it'll be uh, very curious to see if this one can get the breakout on Wednesday. Next one, TSLA Tesla. And I like this one quite a bit just because there's well-defined trend line that I assure you a lot of people have drawn. So I'm not trying to impress you with that. I'm not trying to imply that that's a great discovery. A lot of people have drawn that trend line. Uh, so as I mentioned already, when a lot of people are watching the, the same level, wondering the same thing, call it a self-filling prophecy, call it whatever you want. It can produce some very dynamic movements. And that's what we have here. So if the price can get up here to, let's see, what is that? Uh, give or take right on, let's call it the $930 mark. Uh, again, give or take a little bit. We're talking about a $900 stock. But if the price can get up to that level and get the break up through it, uh, then very rational to think that that breakout right there could produce quite a bit of upwards buying pressure. So you're going to want to keep a close eye on that moving forward. In terms of levels of support, have a very interesting level down there right around the $915. Eh, let me adjust that down. Eh, 915, 913, uh, but right around that area. Uh, and you do have a bit of a descending triangle here. So uh, you got to think that a lot of shorts are going to be watching that level, wondering, you know, if the price can get the breakthrough there, does that produce some downside buying pressure? But you also got to think there's going to be a bunch of longs watching that level saying, well, geez, it, it's bounced off there a couple of times before. So I could see it doing again. Both people are correct in their scenarios, but that's why risk management matters so much because somebody's going to be right. Somebody's going to be wrong, but that doesn't take away from the fact that these are definitely some levels that a lot of people are going to be keeping a close eye on. Next one, APRN, and once again, same premise that I've talked about. I think this is the third time where you have the good solid upwards movement, but now you are experiencing this pullback. So I'm not gonna, like I said, repeat myself over and over, but just goes to say, do you believe in the pullback? If you, do you think this healthy pullback? Do you think it's a, a bigger uh, reversal? Uh, but you gotta, you gotta find it interesting given the pullback. Last 30 minutes, got a nice hammer candle right there that formed, uh, but nonetheless, you can't refute the fact that there is a lot of upwards momentum behind it. Uh, and if you do believe uh, in this pullback, then this is uh, what you would definitely qualify as a, a very worthwhile entry point. Uh, and like I said, you got to like that hammer candle that th uh, formed during the last 30 minutes. Again, one of those stocks down below the $10 mark. Uh, so interesting scenario, huge volume today, well above average. Uh, and let's see if this is indeed a healthy pullback or not. Next one, AMD. Probably should have put this one by Tesla because same general premise. I assure you, all sorts of people, all sorts of people have drawn that tread line right there. I mean, talk about a tread line that everybody, their brother's uncle is going to be watching. But I mean, check it out. Using those two levels right there, forecasted that breakdown, forecasted that, you know, breakdown, forecasted that one right there. So no guarantees, but is it valid? Is it rational to think that if AMD can come up here and break through that tread line, that that break could lead to some good solid upwards buying pressure? That is completely a valid thought process to have. So wow, what a tread line. Again, that may be the best tread line in all the market. I, I'm not gonna, I don't know that for sure, obviously, but that one's gotta be top 10 because it's such a well-known stock. And you know, there's gotta be, there's so many people are gonna be watching it. Uh, and then from a support standpoint, uh, another actually very solid, Tread line right there from the support side of things, going through the history of things, you can see has done a great job of forecasting where bounce points have been. So you're gonna have all sorts of people watching these levels. Are the bulls gonna win out there? Are the bears gonna win out there? That's only the question that a lot of people will be considering. So going back to the whole philosophy of watch list, finding unique, finding interesting situations, this one definitely fits the bill. And that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here and you wanna learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency, then get signed up for the free live training. Like I said, it'll be very soon, Thursday, August 18th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy this format, then please do two things for me. Hit the like button, leave a simple comment, say hi, tell me what you traded today, tell me what you're watching tomorrow. But those two things communicate to me that you enjoy. And as long as I know people are enjoying, I'll continue to do the video. So again, get signed up for the free training, hit that like button, leave a simple comment down below. Everybody, thanks for watching. Take care, have a good one.